Okay, so we are going to make a chess piece, uh, a pawn in Inventor. Here we go. So I've already done this one. Um, so this is how I got up to this stage. Make sure you press um, File and then press New. And then come to this page, make sure metric is selected. And then come over here to standard millimeter IPT. I stands for inventor, PT stands for part. So it's a part file, press OK. And we get a new page like this. We can then start a 2D sketch on one of the work planes, anyone. And now we're gonna draw on this work plane and we're gonna start with the basic size of the pawn. You get that from the in, uh, class nexus page. Um, the base is 18 mil in diameter and the height is 35. And uh, so let's do those two measurements first. So click on line up here, start at the center and come across now, not 18, but half of 18, which is nine. So hit nine, enter. Okay, hit escape and start again. And we're gonna go up, straight up zero degrees and make that 35. So type in 35, hit enter. It's off the screen. So let's zoom out a tiny bit and zoom back in a tiny bit. And there it is. I'm gonna uh, keep going across the page 90 degrees just for a little bit, doesn't matter how far. Press uh, the mouse click and escape. So now I've got this line, the backbone, which is the axis and the bottom, which is going to be the base. All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm gonna put a dome on the, on the pawn. Now remember, we're only drawing half of the pawn, uh, the, a profile, and then we'll revolve it around 360 degrees. So let's start with a circle for its head. Uh, I, I just draw it here <clears throat> and make the circle, uh, I think 12 mil and hit enter. Um, and so that's going to be our, the top of the pawn. Um, hit escape and grab that center and put it on the axis. So the center now is on the axis line. Now what we're gonna do is move it up until it touches this top horizontal line. And we're gonna make sure that they just touch. And to do that, we're gonna come up here to the constraining button and, and we're gonna use the tangent button. So click on that, click on the circle, click, and then click on the top line, horizontal line, and they'll lock in at a tangent. All right, what we can do now is uh, go up to hit to the trim button and you can um, click on the dotted line and that, whatever you click on using the trim button disappears. All right, so now we're gonna finish the rest of our, the shape of our pawn. And we're just doing it by eye really. So um, uh, with the um, picture of the uh, pawn from the class Nexus page, uh, have a look at it and then um, just um, try and mimic that profile. So I'm gonna use the line button and I'm gonna come from about here and go down a tiny bit and then straight out. All right, and press escape. I'm going to try. Um, I'm going to try and make it look like the previous one I've did done. So on here, I've uh, let's have a look. I've got a couple of semicircles, and I can do that with up here. Uh, and you start. Actually, no. Let's not do that. Let's go from down here. Go up a little bit first, and then uh, we can do something like that and then I can also do actually not not that one we're going to do this one um, that draws a circle this one draws an arc so start of the arc finish of the arc and then the diameter all right so something like that um, let me have a look at the last one <laughs> all right it's different it doesn't really matter so here I'm going to draw down and then in, press escape, and then I'll draw the arc and I'll start here and finish there and click. I don't know, does that look all right? We'll see. So come to the trim button. 
uh, and trim off this little extra piece here and then trim off this little extra piece here so that there's a profile starting from this point and it continues. There's no gaps all the way around until you get back to the axis line. All right, if you've done that, you can press finish. All right, then you can come over here to 3D model and press revolve. And then you should be able to, it should highlight. Can you see how if I move to the profile, it highlights it? Well, that, if you then click on that, um, that should color in and say that, yes, that is a profile. All you have to do then is press on the axis button, choose the axis line, click, and revolve it. It automatically revolves 360 degrees. Hit the shift key and mouse button and you can revolve it around. I'm gonna move it to the center. Look, to be honest, I don't like that, but uh, I did one just before. And that's what it turned out like. If you can see that, um, um, I think you should be able to, if I then revolve around that one and go axis, I want you to get it as close to a, a nice looking pawn as you can. And there we go. Uh, let me just show you how you can, um, how you can use the home button up here. So if you lose, if you lose your drawing, you can actually just press your mouse wheel in and move it around, or you can hold the shift key down and it will spin around. So get it to how you want it. Uh, then come up here to your home button, just here, right click and go set current view as home fit to view. Then anytime you press home, it'll center whatever you've drawn. Don't forget to click on file and go save as and save it as chess piece porn. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna try and stop this.